It's a high-profile case involving sex, inmates, and a false confession. In the middle of all this, a sheriff's deputy accused of official misconduct. But now, all charges have been dropped. Tonight, we have exclusive video of his so-called confession. But as News Channel 5's Nick Barris tells us, that video evidence is now the key to clearing his name. Charles Edwards worked here at the Montgomery County Jail until he was fired. And one of the toughest things for him through all this was realizing that the sheriff's investigator assigned to the case lied to him in an effort to get a confession. Yeah, I was devastated because I thought it was going to be us against them, but it turned out the other way. A female inmate last year accused Edwards of using his influence as a jailer to get sexual favors. The people I was working with uh, on my shift, they knew it was garbage. This is video of a sheriff's investigator interrogating Edwards. It's not if it happened, because I know it happened. She obtained an alleged confession. Edwards was indicted. The sheriff then fired him. But this week, all charges were dropped. We need to be careful about rushing to judgment. Edwards' attorney, Fletcher Long, argued that the investigator coerced the alleged confession and even lied. He points to this clip. Do you understand that... that, that there's a video mm -hmm. that shows what was going on that day. Long says there was never any incriminating video. He says the investigator also made baseless threats, and a judge agreed. In suppressing the confession, he wrote, the investigator admitted that her procedure in many instances was to lie or at least tell untruths to an accused as a means of obtaining confessions. No confession, no case. Now Edwards, after months living under a dark cloud, just wants to get back to work. Yeah, I love my job. Yeah, I'll go back because I, I enjoy the people I was working with. Edwards certainly hopes he can salvage his law enforcement career either here or somewhere else, but he says he's learned a hard lesson about trusting others, even those in law enforcement, to do the right thing. In Montgomery County, Nick Barris, News Channel 5 HD. In a statement released late this afternoon, Sheriff John Fusan said the confession was just one piece of the case against Edwards. He feels the prosecution should still move forward, but that's the DA's decision. The sheriff, however, will not hire Edwards back.